Hi, are you Rupert James? Yes, I am, Sonny Boy, and you must be Colin, right? Yes, that's my name. Why not you come inside and we'll have a talk? Alright, Colin. So, I've been seeing that you're struggling that you can't remember the words you don't know. Yeah, I'm trying to become like the most reasonable person. I'm trying to, trying to know what I'm saying right now so I can just understand more easily, better. Well, you got the right place. And you are... Let me gonna tell you a story about some something from a long time ago, like even a century ago. Like that helps you more understand more clearly. You sir are gonna be just like a robot that has the full knowledge power you could have. Yeah, I wish I can have full knowledge so I can be understandable to other people. Okay, the year was 1921. Oh, it was a long time ago. I'm gonna do jazz rubber hose dance. This is the story of this side of paradise. Everyone is just minding their own business. Our generation is doing pretty fine. The city is peaceful. B-board is having a good time. And they are loving everything. They're loving this day. They're loving stories. They're aspects of our lives. It's our, in our generation. Telegram for Sugar Booger. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a boy that was hidden by an apple, or the apple fell on a tree. It was just Johnny Appleseed. This was life was like about a hundred years ago. Everything was going great until then. Until one day, there is a very, very, very bad man named Harold Fonald. Who? Harold Fonald. He's bald, but with all of his 50 troops, they're going to take everything, aspects of our lives, destroy the individualisms of our, their generations, and take everything what they love, especially their personalities. So Harold's troop runs along and starts, starts to kill the individualisms. Why did you do that? Because phones are banned and we're taking everything from it. We are banning some stuff that we have to take away. Books, wait, books, stores, everything that we're gonna take. And if you are found by these kinds of items that are banned, you'll be in jail. You can't do this, man. This ain't right. You won't have the rights to do that. Well, I hate it. I hate the experts. You guys are... You guys make me so embarrassed if I see you reading all these kinds of books and doing all... Making love and doing all kinds of things that... That embarrasses me, so I took it away, so you wouldn't do all these things. Ha ha, you lost it. This ain't fair, you, you monster. It doesn't mean you just can't take all those stuffs we love away from us.
Everyone freeze! We have a new law that's gonna be changing! Our new dictator, Harold Fonald, will be taking something that will be banned. Expects that I uh, expects from your life. From now on, this restaurant is closed permanently. So all of you can just get the hell out of there. If you don't, I'll put you to jail, or I can put you in an execution chair, electric chair. You have 15 seconds to evacuate the building. Oops, wrong time. I realize I travel a, a way back to the, back to the twenties, the nineteen twenties. I got hot, I got hot, I go to the wall, I got hot. Hey, do you know where can I hide? Uh, uh, hmm. Maybe jump over the fence and run away f as far away as them? X Man? <laughs> this only continue about like. Seven hours until the police and the helicopters came to stop this war nonsense chaos. They arrested those. They arrested the troops, even Harold Fonald, and they were sentenced to jail. And they were the cost of the property damage is approximately like, like, uh, thousands of dollars. Jeez, man, that's really messed up, though. But I'm glad the the war was just over. I can't believe that only lasts about like a couple hours. Well, that's all I all I have to talk about. So that's all, folks. So you can get out there and go home. I had pretty fun telling you that that's not that tragic disaster story. Thanks again. Bye. What a nice lad.